In this training, we'll cover using the green screen side of the Faculty Recording Studio at BGSU. When you enter the room, make sure the computer monitor is turned on, locate the video camera, and use the power button on the side to turn it on. When the screen turns blue, use the, a combination of the zoom in and out button and the photo button to select the PC camera. Make sure your microphone is on and that the light here is green. Next, locate the monitors on and off button near the front of the room and press monitors on. Head back to the touchscreen monitor and select start meeting. Now that you have the screens in the room on, use them as a guide as you turn the camera and tilt it so that only the green screen is shown in the frame. Once the green screen fills the entire frame, locate the two lights in the room and use all three switches, two on one light and one on the other, to turn the lights on to light the green screen. You can either use the green screen to add a background in post-production, or you can use the virtual background option in Zoom. To do this, go back to the monitor, press the three-dot menu, and select Virtual Background. You can select from any of the predetermined options we have. Depending on your height, you may need to adjust the monitor itself to ensure that you are fully in frame. You can use the chair as a guide. To start the recording in Zoom, tap anywhere on the monitor and bring up the Zoom menu. Tap the three dot icons for more and then tap start recording. You'll be prompted to record to the cloud, so enter your BGSU email address and then press OK. You should now see the recording icon in the top left of the screen. Move yourself back in front of the camera and begin your recording. When you're finished, walk back over to the touchscreen monitor, tap and press end and then end meeting for all to finish your recording. Press and hold the power button on the camera to turn it off. Move the slider on the microphone to turn it off and then locate the monitor's off button on the wall to turn the rest of the room off. Lastly, go to the two lights and use the switches on them to turn them off as well. Once you return to your office, you should have an email in your inbox from Zoom with a direct link to your recording. Keep in mind that these will not show up in your standard list of recordings, and it is highly recommended that you download the video immediately um, so that you can then edit and upload this wherever you need it to go. Keep in mind that if you do continue to use the Zoom link in your email to access the video, you'll have 100 days before that video is automatically deleted.